It was previously thought that once you reach full puberty, your brain was fully developed and that's that. But new evidence shows that your brain is always producing new brain cells throughout your entire life. Today we will be talking about how to grow more brain cells. Welcome to Mentor My Life. We'll be diving into a book called The Neurogenesis Diet and Lifestyle by Dr. Brant Courtright. In this book, the author dives into how you can exactly increase your brain neurogenesis, which is the growth of new brain neurons. The reason this is so important is because increasing your brain neurogenesis is directly linked to better memory, better cognitive function, your ability to learn things at a faster rate, better emotional intelligence, and your ability to control your emotions. By increasing your brain neurogenesis, the quality of your life will also increase. Dr. Brant Courtright says to increase your brain neurogenesis, you have to focus on five different categories, and those categories are diet, body, heart, mind, and spirit. Diet is probably the most important part of increasing your neurogenesis. What you eat is fuel for your brain. Your brain uses up to 20% of your daily caloric intake. A bad diet can completely halt your brain neurogenesis. The human brain is about 60% fat, so the key to having a healthy brain is eating healthy fats. The most important one of them all is omega-3 fatty acids. This is found in foods such as fish, chia seeds, and walnuts. You want to balance your omega-3 intake with omega-6 fatty acid intake, which is found in almost all fatty foods. A good ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids should be anywhere between 1 to 1 and 1 to 4. Western diets highly favor omega-6 fatty acids, having ratios anywhere between 1 to 15 and 1 to 20. Balance the fats in your diet for a healthy brain. Other foods to eat to promote neurogenesis are turmeric, decaf green tea as high amounts of caffeine actually prohibit neurogenesis, high vitamin E foods such as avocados, ginseng, and mushrooms such as lion's mane. Avoid processed foods such as sugars because avoiding bad foods is just as important as eating healthy foods. Having a healthy body is extremely important when it comes to increasing neurogenesis, so it's important that you get proper sleep and you have a consistent exercise routine. All types of exercise are extremely important, but when it comes to neurogenesis, the type of exercise that has the largest effect is aerobic exercise. Aerobic exercise is so important that when scientists want to increase neurogenesis in animals such as mice, they'll just simply give the mice a running wheel and have them run. You want your aerobic exercise to last around 20 to 30 minutes minimum. You should be breathing heavy and you should have a high heart rate. A good way to know where your heart rate should be maintained at is using the heart rate formula created by Dr. Phil Maftone, and that's 180 minus your age. So if you're 25 years old, you should be keeping your heart rate at around 155 beats per minute for around 20 to 30 minutes of aerobic exercise. The heart category is about your emotional state. Emotions such as love, happiness, and excitement increase neurogenesis, whereas negative emotions such as hate, fear, and sadness slow down neurogenesis. So it's important to have relationships where love and joy are the standards, and you should cut out toxic relationships that stress you out of your life. You want to do things that make you happy, such as following your passions and being in nature. Go on an adventure and keep your life exciting and spontaneous. Of course, it is impossible to always be happy. You will always experience a wide range of positive and negative emotions, but for the most part, you should always be happy and feel positive. When it comes to the mind, there's no better saying that applies than use it or lose it. Your brain is always rewiring itself and creating new neural pathways. If these neural pathways aren't being used, they become dull. Your mind is like a muscle and if you don't exercise it, it becomes weak. You need to become a lifelong learner. You should always be reading new books, listen to interesting podcasts, write in a journal, learn to play a new instrument, meditate. These are all extremely important to increase your neurogenesis. Most people think that spirituality has nothing to do with brain development and neurogenesis. This is a big misconception. Studies have shown that feeling that you have a sense of purpose in this world greatly improves your emotional quality of life. You don't have to be religious, but meditation, compassion, and prayer should all be practiced. Having a strong connection with God, the universe, nature, or whatever it is you want to have a connection with will greatly improve your mental state. Your brain and the health of your brain should be your number one priority. Your brain is in control of your entire life. An unhealthy brain will result in an unhappy life full of stress, bad decisions, and toxic relations. A healthy brain will allow you to be clear of thinking, to be free in your decision making, 
and will give you emotional resilience so that when bad things do occur in your life, you will be able to come out the other end still happy and enjoying your life to the fullest. But as always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe, leave a like, comment any questions that you have down below, and don't forget to share with your friends.